great morning. Thank you for coming. It's so good to see you all in person. Every quarter, I ask all my white women to come up with a goal that you want to accomplish as it pertains to anti-racism work. Part of it is figuring out, okay, where are you on this graph? Where do you want to be? Now, I'm going to assume that most of us want to be in transformational. How do we get to the transformational, which is a high alignment, high value, and I can do it over a period of time to be able to see that change. Most people, again, don't know where they actually are. I don't know if you know where you are, but I've spent my time in these spaces, volunteering, showing up. I've even been in workplaces where I'm like, yeah, this is definitely temporary. Sometimes people just don't know, and I talk a lot about experience and exposure. I was a competitive gymnast, which it, it's changed since then, but at that time it, it's a very white sport. It's a very expensive sport. Sport. It was a very limiting sport. Literally every one of my teammates were white. All of my teachers were white. All of my coaches were white. And I didn't ever think about that because I'm white too. And so I never realized that that wasn't normal. So I was raised that way. And so just constantly reminding myself that I, I don't know what I don't know. Even people who have well, good intentions and they drop the ball. They don't know what timid looks like. They don't know even that this was a transactional like action. And they don't know that everything that they're doing is actually only temporary but they want to get to transformation and who else is gonna tell them if you don't? Recognize how that shows up in your own personal life and then tell that story so that we can start giving examples for other people and say, well, what if, let's consider, okay, that's one way of looking at it. What if we looked at it this way? 